Mustafa Gedalari here with Fight Hub TV. I'm here with Shane Del Rosario right before I try to cut uh, somebody else who was in line. Uh, sorry for that. No, no worries, it's not me. <laughs> what, a, what a great fight. I mean, Thank the you. fans were on their feet, uh, and there were a lot of heated and heavy exchanges. Um, did you feel his power and everything that he threw? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I knew Levar was a big, strong guy, um, and he was coming to fight, definitely. We both had a lot of line on this fight. This was our chance to be in the tournament and our first time uh, out of the Challenger Series. But, uh, you know, I didn't expect him to take me down and when he did he was real strong you know I mean I couldn't just get him in a submission right away um, and yeah we definitely had some heated exchanges um, and uh, it was good for me I needed that test and I'm happy that I came out with the win and I'm looking to move on. Uh, obviously as an MMA fighter you try to cover all aspects of your game and you're primarily known for your excellent kickboxing skills were you happy to get uh, another submission victory? Uh, definitely I mean that's something I've been working on a lot I, you know, I kind of always work in my stand-up with Colin Oyama and Romeo Danza but uh, lately I've been practicing a lot or training a lot with Jiva Santana, my jiu-jitsu coach, uh, focusing a lot on the ground, a lot of wrestling, um, you know, and it's important to be a well-rounded fighter, obviously, you know, and no one, no one's winning these days that, that's just good at one thing, you know, so yeah, I'm happy that I got to get another finish and especially a submission for my coach, and, you know, for the fans and for other fighters to see that, you know, I got a lot of different weapons, I'm not just a kickboxer. That's great. Um, now, uh, I noticed that you're, you're, you're limping a little bit, is, is a serious injury, do you know yet? Uh, I just kicked his elbow, I think I wanted the kicks and you know anyone who knows that it hurts pretty bad yeah, that, that's but, uh, the yeah, worst. it's gonna be swell for a week you know but it'll be good i'll be back to training in a week or so so are you looking forward to somebody uh dropping out and you getting in on the heavyweight tournament action uh you know that's a huge opportunity but it's not something i want to focus on you know i, I really just want to get some fights this year you know but if the, to if the opportunity comes i can't pass it up i'm not gonna just lay down and think oh these guys are you know so much more fights so much more experience than me i'm gonna turn my ass off and i'm gonna come in a fight and fight hard and we'll see what happens it's a great attitude uh what can we expect Expect from Shane Del Rosario in 2011. Uh, a lot of fights. I want to try to at least get four or five more fights, um, and then you know earn my way into the tournament next year. You know, so I'm gonna go home and train. I definitely have some work to do. I came in with the win tonight, but I definitely have some work to you know to stay more relaxed. You know, be able to do my own things that I do back in the gym, and you know just train at home in the actual uh, cage fight night. You know, so it, it just comes along with experience. You know, get some more rounds in, um, just train harder, and you know, and come back to win next time. That's great. Thank you so much for Thank the you. honest answers. Yeah. All right, be well. Have a good night.